Okay, a brief summary of my experience testing the Top Sky Prime 1S goggles for a couple of hours in the park. I got lucky with a dry spell in the UK, although I had to put up with a rather hazy blue sky. I used my 3 inch Bando Racer with Cadix Turtle and was hopeful the Top Sky Prime would replace my set of box goggles. It's not a full review, so check out Andy RC if you need to know which buttons to press. So before we start, I had to make one modification to be able to focus my eyes. I had to remove the battery completely and roll the diopters out as far as they could go. I then stuck the battery back in with some sticky tape, as you can see. Now, let's have a fly. We can see in the flight footage that the picture is not particularly clear on either feed due to the hazy sunlight and the fact I'm using the Cadex Turtle rather than a dedicated FPV camera. However, it's a fair comparison for both goggles. The top sky feels nicer to both use and fly, as I could see far more definition. I was surprised how easy it was to get used to the 4x3 view, as I've always flown with the 16.9 goggles. One downside was that the picture was slightly less bright. The real issue with the goggles is colour. My screen turns from blue to yellow to maybe orange, green, purple. These random colour bursts ruin the flight as some of the colours are fine and others are overly dark. This trippy feeling isn't conducive to long flights. I am using the TX20 which obviously isn't compatible with the Top Sky goggles, as I've tried a couple of cameras. I have since tested with a VTX03 in the workshop, which works fine, but now I need to test the reception. Do not buy these goggles if you intend to use a TX20. I had a problem with the codec and putting the Top Sky file into Adobe Premiere Pro. So I had to dumb it down very quickly to 480p from 720p. So the Top Sky feed and footage that you see, although it looks better than the box goggles, it really is a you know, little bit better than that. The box goggles, as you can see, have many more artifacts. But to be fair, both FPV feeds that you see on the screen are not quite as good as you see in real life. I don't have a problem flying with the box goggles and as I say the top sky goggles I felt very comfortable flying with however um, there were times where the screen just went too dark and as I said I don't think I could fly like that all day I managed to fly with one full battery the rest of the time I was playing about with the colors trying to get rid of the color bursts and by the time I finished my full flight, the battery had run out. So probably an hour and 20 minutes total battery time. So in summary, these goggles from Top Sky have a lot of potential. Frustratingly, they're not the finished product for a number of reasons. They messed up on a cold day as there's no fan. If you forget to stop the recording before turning off the goggles, the DVR file gets corrupted. While the reception was as good as my box goggles, as far as I can tell, only the right antenna is working. And of course, there's the big VTX issue. I'll now have to update my quad with a compatible VTX and retest, which is a pain. Worst of all, there's now a version 2 of the Top Sky Prime which they are already advertising. As you can expect, I'm left feeling rather frustrated.